In our previous tutorial video, we were able to work on creating a customer. In this episode, I want us to look at displaying all the customers. So let us go ahead and uh, work on it. So I'm going to just bring up Visual Studio Code and open Terminal. And what we are going to do is we are going to create um, another component so in this case php artisan make live wire and the component that we are creating is called customers so in this case we are going to list all the customers in this um, in this component that we are creating now once we hit enter now it's going to create for us two files one of them will be a live i mean a live wire class which is called customers which we have it here and of course we are also going in resources views and inside live wire we are also going to have customers dot blade this file here which no customers dot blade this file here which i would like us to replace with a table so i'm going to go to bootstrap.com and uh, just uh, get a table just a simple table so i'll use scroll up until where we have tables in the documentation and then i will pick the first table of course, I do not require all the many rows, so I can just pick the table from there up until the first table row. And that will be it. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste here. Then, of course, I need to close the table body. And I also need to close the table like that. I believe everything is good with this one. So I can save it and then we can go ahead and create a route for that. So we just copy what we have here and paste. So this one is going to be customers like that and it's a get request but now here we are going to use the customers class the class that we have created right now like that customers and then of course we need to import it here so i can even just copy this one and and paste it here and i can uh, delete such that we have customers plural like that and i guess by doing that it's possible for us to now display customers so if i currently i'm having localhost and then customers then create if i delete it a little bit and click now we have a table a nice looking table <clears throat> which i want us to be able to modify and be able to display our customers so let's go ahead and do that so um, in uh, in customers that played the first thing I want to do is um, change sort of the way it is uh, displaying so in this case I want us to have the name customer name customer email and then we want to have customer phone because it's in a similar fashion that we had it in a, a previous uh, tutorial. That is what we actually did. And then I also want to uh, here, maybe we can be able to have the customer ID. Let me just say customer ID. But be before we do that, we have to do a loop. I have not been able to create the customers in the, I mean, to uh, 
load the customers into this blade file from uh, the customer class but I can be able to just because I know what data I'll be bringing in I can be able to to just uh, loop through for each for each customers as customer like that and then and this is where we before we have the table row and then at the end of the table row we can have at end for each this is just a blade directive it has nothing to do with uh, with live wire and then here i want us to have customer id ID and then here customer customer email I mean customer name and then we can also have um, customer email And then lastly, we can have customer phone. Like that. Obviously, I also need one more uh, column. So we can have it as table data. And here, I want us to have several buttons. The first one we are going to call it. Uh, we are going to call it view. Of course, the others you can just copy and paste. We want to have edit. And lastly, we want to have delete. I can give them some varied classes. So this one I can give it a class of uh, BTN, BTN primary. And then uh, BTN small to just make it a small button. And then of course, for the others, we can be able to have a similar class. This one, maybe we can call it secondary. And then lastly, for delete, we have the button as a red. So I you change this to danger like that. Now, if we refresh, we are going to get an error because we are not loading the customer. Yes, of course, and undefined variable customers, and that is okay. So I would like us to go to our customer class. That is in app live wire, then customers. And here, what I want us to do is now to be able to load our customers from the database. So you can be able to have a um, property here, which we are going to call public uh, customers. In this case, we are going to set it to an empty array. Now, uh, if you now check, if you now refresh, our page now you can see we are no longer getting an error because we are passing the customers only that what you are passing is nothing there is no entries there are no entries in this customer details so that is the only thing that uh, has happened but then of course we can now go ahead and get our customers from uh, the database and we are going to use the mount hook so we're going to have public function 
mount these ones are reserved for tailwind and we can say, i mean for um, live wire and we can say this customers and we are referring to here and we want to populate this empty array now with customers from the database so here i'm going to write customer model and we can even say customer all like that obviously depending with how you want to fetch the customers you can be able to fetch specific rows and all that but for this case they just have it like this one more thing that i do not have i have not imported the customer model so in this case we can import it here use app models uh, customer and i believe that is uh, everything that we require to do for us to be able to display uh, these uh, users that have been created or in other words the customers that have been created in the database now you can see we have these customers displayed and i think that makes this the end of this tutorial video thank you very much for following up until this moment if you are new to this channel i ask that you subscribe and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and you can also uh, share it thank you very much